Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidMotorX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install the latest over-the-air update to the HTC One M8 on Verizon. Uh, now, if you're rooted with S off, this can be a pain because you'll need to return your ROM to factory settings. So, in order for the over-the-air to update, you won't be able to be on a custom recovery. And if you have anything changed on your ROM, if you've made any modifications like Wi-Fi tether or if you change any of the system apps, you'll have to revert those to stock or it will not go through. So I kind of have an easier method for you guys today. A big shout out to Scrossler, the developer of the stock rooted ROM of the over the air 605.2. Uh, he's made updating to the latest over the air as simple as flashing a ROM. Uh, now, with that said, you will have to flash the uh, firmware radios and boot image separately. I have another video on that, and I'll make sure to include a link to that in the description. Uh, but first of all, you'll just want to head to the XDA thread. So I'll include the link in the description to Scrossler's thread to bring you here. And you'll just want to scroll down and download the file. I would choose the dev host because it's much faster then goo I am. Once you have that downloaded, you'll need to go ahead and boot into recovery. So the easiest way to do that is to power off the device and then hold down volume and the power button until the boot menu appears. Okay, so once the fast boot menu appears, you will go down to recovery, hit the power button. That should boot you into Team Win Recovery Project. Now, obviously, you'll need to be rooted and S off. If you weren't rooted with SOF, then you probably wouldn't be watching this video because you could just install the over-the-air update. So basically, you want to make sure that you do have a backup of your current ROM. Just in case something goes wrong, you go into your store and make sure you do have a file to restore. Then you'll just wipe everything. So factory reset. This will also wipe Dalvik cache and cache. Once that's complete, we'll go back and simply install the ROM. So you're looking for the stock rooted 1.55.605.2 and this is ODEX because it is a stock over the air rooted ROM. So we'll go ahead and choose that. Make sure that we're flashing the correct file and swipe to flash. Give this just a few minutes. So once you see the successful screen, it's okay to go ahead and reboot your system. And that will bring us into the full over the air uh, update stock ROM by Scrossler. Now this may take a minute to reboot since we did do a full wipe on our system. Okay, so now that we're all booted up, we're just going to go into settings and check out the build number. Uh, you do see that Super SU is uh, here on the phone, so we do have root. And we'll check out the about software information, and you'll see that we're now on software number 1.55.605.2 Once you flash the firmware and radios, you'll be completely up to date. Once again, big shoutouts to developer Scrossler for providing the stock ROM. Hopefully this will be a good clean base for other developers uh, to develop more awesome ROMs on. So guys, that about wraps it up for this video. If you've liked it, be sure to click the thumbs up. You can subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at DroidMotorX.com. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.